What's up, guys? Welcome back to Old Java Major Show. Today, we're going to be bringing the two brothers, Mario and Luigi, the Mario Brothers, and Santa Papyrus, the Skilla Brothers. It's time to analyze their stats, weapons, and abilities to find out who would win in a battle to the death. The Mushroom Kingdom was a palace between princesses or plumbers or toads or something. But Mario and Luigi was the prince and the... Luigi was the brother of it? I don't even know. And so Princess Peach was kidnapping Bowser with just a kidnapped princess and then Mario was there to save the day and Luigi, but Mario was the, well, Mario was the main character. And so they started teaming up together and uh, usually maybe betraying each other. Yeah, that's not right. That's not Brother Chichi. Well, not to mention what their first power-up of their also another funny notations is the uh, Fire Flower. Yeah, the Fire Flower can uh, contain high energy for some the other occasion. And then Mario just has the frog suit thingy. He can swim faster and stuff things. And Mario and Luigi has the cape feather, which they can fly or something. And also, they have a metal thing cap or something else. But we're not going to use that for some reason because it's dumb. Well, I just don't know. Oh, yeah, the Star Man is the uh, containment of the things for. Well, they make them clearly indestructible. Well, Mario has a hammer, so does Luigi, so they're both in common for some reason. And they're always addicted to mushrooms, but speaking of it, they, Mario has a mega mushroom that gets some ginormous and can crush their things. Well, speaking of uh, Luigi, Luigi is so sabotaging that they, Mario and Luigi both work together, but for such as Luigi, Luigi is kind of psychotic and cocky, and so uh, he's not really, he, he is really skilled in combat, but he's just too cranky, and uh, he usually has a super kick or a super uppercut, like, it's, it's really not desperate. And for some reason, he has a cape feather, things, a hammer. He can also have an invisibility flower, or an invisible flower. And Luigi also has a vacuum cleaner? Or what? He's also scared and frightening, but Mario is protective to uh, save Luigi's fear, or for some occasion, and scared of science. But Luigi's still brave and strong. When, well, no matter how much it takes, he also controls lightning and stuff. Don't believe me? Well, here's proof. Yeah, well, Luigi is more awesome for lightning, but still. Well, yeah, well, Mario and Luigi will do something whatever it takes to save the Princess Peach. Santa Papyrus are the deadliest or goofiest skeletons in the world, or any other tale series. But sounds and papyrus are not usually psychotic. Yeah, well, it's not for a sick joke that uh, sands and papyrus are trying to stop a human named Frisk. But papyrus is more goofy than sands, but sands is just quite more attractive to a. Uh, Papyrus, but it's not like the same without Sans. If Sans, if Papyrus gets attack, then Sans gets really mad because he's watching, always watching. Yes. But back to business. Well, Papyrus may seem like he maybe will maybe be a royal guard, but not because. Well, it's not really that of a occasion because uh, Sans and Papyrus are a. Uh, or not average to each other. Of course, Frisk may be a friendly franchise, but that's just Kara persisting her. Yeah, see what I mean? Papyrus gets killed and he and Sans gets mad. But they do make a pretty good team, bro, though. Sans has gastro blasters, Papyrus has bones, and he has a giant bone for a forest or something. But overall, Sans and Papyrus are more dur are durable and psychotic and more powerful. They can usually they can usually dodge projectiles and stuff and some stuff that they need, and if they do, Sansa Papyrus will have what it takes to stop Frisk. Sup, bro? You know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. You just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. You wanna look? No, I don't have time for that. What if a human comes through here? I want to be...
All right, catch your votes in, people, because it's time to see who it went in the battle to the death. Okay, can you just stop the music, please? Okay, hurry up! Can't end like this again. They're going to. No. It can't be. Reverse the dark pass! Alright. Welcome to Boris. Boris, no. Ugh. Let's go. Yeah, yeah. You won't take this victory from me. Mama! Luigi! Luigi! Ma! Dang it! Looks like Mario and Luigi got the victory over Santa Papyrus. And I know you can hate me all you want. And I'm not gonna complain. So uh here's why Mario and Luigi wins against Santa Papyrus. Well, it's not my fault that I made the decision. I don't know, but Mario and Luigi are more durable, more faster, and more stronger than Santa Papyrus has ever been. So uh so are Sansa Papyrus more faster than L Mario and Luigi? No. Because Mario and Luigi were born ready to kick some butt. And were born ready to save the princess. But not but not for the frightened intentions. Sansa Papyrus are not capable with fast human beings. But they are but they are capable with catching up with Frisk a little bit. Well, just like Mario and Luigi, they have the upper handers than Santa Papyrus. The winner is Mario and Luigi. Get ready for the next attack.
machine and you will see it for good. I provide the greatest horrors bringing frights upon the player. They match me up against a Freddy Fazbear party favor. I'll bend you till you snap once as I crack a whack in half and use her scraps of sacrifices to bring back my rapid wrath. You're the cheapest gimmick someone's tried to sell to me. I'm Satan reanimated. What can you do? Tell on me. And if you're telling me your company said they built you to survive against the lyrics written with this ink, then your career is a Dandy versus Mama Tattletale. In three days, come back.